Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration of Shopify Odoo Connector by ME Pro. In this video, I'll show you some of the most important features of the connector that will give you a good idea of what the connector is capable of and how it can add value to your business. Before I begin, I would just like to mention that to keep the demo quick and short, I will not be covering all the features and use cases, but only a few important ones. However, if you prefer to see a more detailed demonstration that is personalized to your needs, I would recommend that you fill out the demo request form and one of our representatives will connect with you to show you the demo that is tailored to your needs. Once you have installed the Shopify Odoo connector on your Odoo database, you will be able to see the connector here on the Odoo dashboard. And when you click on the icon, you will be taken to the Shopify dashboard. Now, the very first concept that I would like to discuss with you is about creating a Shopify instance in Odoo. Now, for the purpose of this demo, I have already created an instance, but let me explain you what an instance is. When you connect a Shopify store with Odoo, each Shopify store in Odoo is represented by an instance in Odoo. So here, Shopify store one is uh, connected with the first instance. So if you have multiple Shopify stores, you will need to create one instance per store uh, in Odoo and all the instances will appear here on the dashboard. So that way you can uh, integrate multiple Shopify stores with a single Odoo database. Um, you can create new instances uh, uh, by going to configuration and instances. Uh, if you want to see detailed instructions about how to connect Shopify with Odoo and how to create a new instance, you can refer our user guide. One of the most important and commonly used features of the connector is its ability to export product from Odoo to Shopify. So let's assume that you have your all your product information set up in Odoo and your Shopify store is brand new and blank. Um, as you have all your product information already available in Odoo, you do not want to manually recreate it in Shopify. So that's where the connector comes in. And with the help of the connector, you can export some or all of your products and its variants from Odoo to Shopify. Let me walk you through the steps. So first you go to the sales application and go to the products and you'll be able to see all your products uh, which are uh, available in Odoo. You can go to the list view. Now you can select either all the products or some of the selected products that you want to export from Odoo to Shopify. After selecting uh, the products, you can go to action and click on Shopify export products. Now once you click here, it'll ask you to choose an export method and uh, you have to select export in Shopify layer. If you want to export product data into CSV file, you can choose this option. Uh, but in this demo, we want to export it to Shopify layer. Now, remember, this does not uh, actually export the products from Odoo to Shopify, but it exports it to a layer. I'll quickly explain you uh, what a layer is. But after selecting this, it will ask you uh, to select the Shopify instance. We have uh, Shopify store one. If you have multiple Shopify stores connected to Odoo, they will all show here and you can select which particular store you want to export the products to. So after having done this, I'll click on export. And then I'll go to the Shopify Odoo connector app, go to the product section. And all the four products will be available here in the connector. So this is the layer. The purpose of a layer product is to provide an intermediate layer that you can use to modify some additional details in the product specifically for the Shopify store that you're connecting to. So sometimes what may happen is that uh, uh, you have the same products listed on multiple channels, uh, marketplace and other e-commerce platform. And on each channel, you want to provide uh, some different details, maybe some unique tags or uh, the title of the product could be different. Uh, maybe the images that you want uh, uh, associated with the product could be uh, different per channel. So you can uh, customize the product for a particular sales channel here in the layer product. So first a layer product is created here. And now we will be exporting this products from Odoo to Shopify. So as you can see that these are all unpublished products. They're not exported in Shopify uh, as of yet, but to export them again, you can select either all the products or you can only select a few products. After having selected these products, you can go to action and you can click on export new product in Shopify. 
Now, when you click on this button, it will ask you whether you want to set price for this product, whether you want to set images for this product, and also whether you want to publish this product on the front end. And when it comes to publishing, um, as you may know, uh, Shopify does allow uh, you to create your own POS terminal. So whether you want to just publish this product on website or you want to publish it on both uh, web and POS, or if you do not want to publish it anywhere, just have it available in the backend. So I'm going to publish it on web only right now. And I'm going to uh, select these two options as well. Uh, so the price set in the price list will be exported and the images will be also exported from Ulu to Shopify. And I'll click on export product. Now, depending upon your product volume, uh, it'll take either a few seconds or a few minutes uh, to export all the product information from Odoo to Shopify. Okay, so now that uh, we have carried out this operation here, let's go to the Shopify store. This is the Shopify backend. So I'm gonna, as you can see, uh, there are no products available here right now. I will refresh this page and uh, we should have uh, the exported products available over here. As you can see, all the products along with its uh, images are all present over here uh, and also the products which has uh, its own variants. So let's say a shirt. A shirt has uh, two variants. So both the variants would be exported here as you can see. Both the variants are exported along with their respective prices which are set in the price list. So that's how the export product feature works in the Shopify Odoo connector. Apart from exporting products from Odoo to Shopify, the connector also offers the feature of importing products from Shopify to Odoo. So if we imagine a scenario where you have all your product information available on your Shopify store and your Odoo database is brand new, you can import all the product information from Shopify to Odoo as well. And the third possibility is if you have uh, all your product information available in Odoo, it's also available in uh, Shopify, you can simply match their SKUs or internal references and synchronize these products. Now that we have exported products from Odoo to Shopify, let me show you one more feature of the connector that is exporting or updating stock levels of these products from Odoo to Shopify. So I'm here in the product screen in Odoo and as you can see the quantity on hand for all these products in Odoo is uh, zero and uh, if I go to the Shopify backend again the stock levels of all these products is zero. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to add some stock for these products here in Odoo. For that I'll go to the purchases application. Now for the demo I've already created a purchase order where I have added some quantity for all these products and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to receive these quantities of these products into the warehouse so I'll click on receive products and I will validate the delivery order now as the delivery order is validated uh, the stock levels for these products should be updated we'll go here and check as you can see, the quantity on hand is uh, uh, set for all these products. Now in Odoo, when we talk about stock levels, uh, Odoo has two different fields that is quantity on hand and forecasted quantity. So the connector uh, allows you option to uh, export either of these quantities. So when you say that you want to export or update stock levels from Odoo to Shopify, uh, you can choose in the configurations whether you're talking about quantity on hand or forecasted quantity. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to export quantity on hand. Now let me show you how to export or update these uh, stock levels from Odoo to Shopify. So for that, I'll go to the Shopify Odoo Connector app. Uh, I'll click on perform operation and here in the operations list I will select the op uh, option of export stock and I will click the execute button now I'll go to the Shopify backend and uh, refresh this page and as soon as the page is refreshed as you can see the stock levels are now available for all these products so these stock levels are updated uh, here in the demo. I have shown you the manual process of updating the stock. You can also set an automation at the end of this demo. I'll show you all the automation options available in the connector. But this is the way you can uh, export or update stock levels from Odoo to Shopify. The next feature that I want to demonstrate is also one of the most important features of the connectors that is importing orders from Shopify to Odoo. Now, before I go ahead and place an order, uh, I want to mention that there are three different ways 
in which you can import orders from Shopify to Odoo. The first way is through webhooks. In simple words, a webhook means that uh, the orders are imported in real time. So as in when an order comes into a Shopify store in real time in almost uh, a second or two, it gets imported uh, to your Odoo database. That's the first way. Uh, and in this demo, we're going to see uh, the import of orders via webhooks. I've already enabled webhooks in the configurations of the connector. The second way is uh, through uh, an automated action or a scheduler. So in the connector, you can uh, set an automated action to import orders at every certain interval. So let's say you have uh, kept a setting that you want to import orders every half an hour or every two hours or every day. Uh, so based on your setting, the connector will automatically import orders at certain intervals. And the third option is to manually import orders with the click of a button. All right, so let me create uh, an order in Shopify. So I'm on the create order screen. First, I'll add some products to this order. So I'm gonna add a black shirt. I'll add a bag. I'll also set a customer here. So when an order information comes into Odoo, the customer information is also fetched along with the order. So here the customer name or their address or their email address is also fetched into Odoo along with the order details. So now that I have this order, I'm going to uh, finally place this order. I will mark this as paid. And the payment method, I'm going to select PayPal. And I will finally create order in Shopify. So I'm placing this order in Shopify. And when I place this order in Shopify, and because I've activated webhook, the order should be automatically imported to Odoo. So the order number is 1047. Let us go to Odoo. And let us go to Shopify Odoo Connector. And as you can see, the order is already imported here. I'll take you to that screen. Sales order. 1047 the order is already in Odoo and if I open the order the customer their address all the products and the pricing information everything is set here in Odoo. When you import an order from Shopify to Odoo the connector also has a feature that lets you select if you want to import the order as a quotation or as a sales order or if you want to import order and automatically create and validate an invoice for the order or if you want to register payment. So all these uh, possible options are present in the connector and you can explore these features when you try out the demo. Now that the order is imported from Shopify to Odoo, the next operation that we will carry out is the fulfillment of this order. So uh, if you see this order here in Shopify, it is unfulfilled. And here in Odoo, we have imported the order and we have the delivery order. So what we're going to do is we're going to validate this delivery order so that it is marked as completed or dispatched here in Odoo. And then we're going to update the order status from Odoo to Shopify. So let me validate this delivery order. So now in Odoo, this particular order is marked as done. The delivery order is validated. And now what we want to do is we want to update the order status from uh, Odoo to Shopify. So for that, I'll go to uh, the dashboard, click on perform operation, and I will select the option of update order shipping status. And click on execute. Again, for this option, uh, the automation is also available. I'm showing you the manual process. So now we'll go to the Shopify store and just refresh this order. And as you can see, the order is marked as fulfilled. So uh, that's how you can uh, mark the order as fulfilled from Odoo to Shopify. It is also possible that if you want to cancel the particular order, or mark it as uh, refunded from Odoo to Shopify, you can also update the order status accordingly. So the connector also allows you to cancel an order or refund an order from Odoo to Shopify. The connector allows you to automate certain operations and I've uh, talked about some of these uh, automation features during this demo, but let me show you where you can configure these schedulers. So when you are in the app, uh, go to the configuration menu and click on instances 
and select the particular instance for which you want to configure the scheduler and you will see the option of configuring schedulers over here. There are five different automation options available. Let me quickly explain you what these uh, operations are. So there are a couple of them related to orders. So you can import orders automatically at certain intervals. You can update order shipping status from Odoo to Shopify uh, by checking this particular automation option. You can export stock levels automatically at certain intervals uh, from Odoo to Shopify with the help of this one. And there are a couple of other uh, uh, automation options related to payout report. Now, let me talk very quickly about what a payout report is. If you are having a Shopify store and if you have uh, enabled Shopify payments for accepting payments from your customer, uh, you would know that Shopify generates a payout report on Shopify. So the connector allows you to import uh, the Shopify payout report from Shopify to Odoo. Uh, this operation can be carried out manually as well as automatically from this particular scheduler. So you can automatically import that payout report from Shopify to Odoo. Now, once the payout report is imported from Shopify to Odoo, you can reconcile, you can process and reconcile the particular Shopify uh, report uh, with the help of accounting application in Odoo. And if you want to automatically uh, reconcile the imported uh, payout reports in Odoo, you can select this particular op operation. So these are all the schedulers and uh, uh, they can help you automate several processes. Other than that, you can use uh, webhooks for some features and uh, you can always carry out manual operations. So this is a very quick demo of the connector that will give you an idea of uh, some of the most important features. Many of our customers use Shopify Odoo Connector for their day-to-day -day operations and uh, the connector has helped them immensely in streamlining their operations and you too can take advantage of it. If you have any further questions or queries about the connectors, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for watching.